Let me put you into the record. Okay. What I've done so far is I have the OPWDD representatives on the call. Okay. So once we're on, we'll all do an introduction. Okay. Um, so what we're doing today And if I can be called... OPWDD. Can I... And looking at the hearing request. Can I please be called Andy because it confuses me because it sounds like other, my last name sounds like other words that, um, to me, so I would like to just be called Andy or Andrew, please. Of course, Andrew, I can call you Andrew, not a problem. Okay, thank you. Okay. Um, I'm assuming you're going to say, can I reply to that? Oh, sure, if you have oh, a reply Yeah, Mr. Ditch. Hey. I just want to let the record know is we have not stopped Mr. Dish from truly applying in any way. However, since our decision, which again, Mr. Dish is... Oh, shit. He submitted no new evidence, no new assessments, no new, um, uh, you know, um, diagnosis. Uh, he's never submitted anything, a diagnostic tool or test that says that he has autism. He hasn't really said he has not submitted a new application with new information. Everything he submits, unfortunately, oh, is a lot of emails, <clears throat> a lot of um, um, uh, opinions from people who, you know, from a lawyer. My, and if my lawyer, and if my... From some state, from his new advocate that has been sending us emails, it's from the state of Pennsylvania. We have all this stuff that's being thrown at us. Um, as a matter of fact, our one of our chief psychologists had to go through 1,400 pages of emails and letters and things of that nature. And Mr. Ditch... I don't care anymore. I'll never stop Mr. Ditch from applying. And who cares? Mr. Ditch... You're abusing me. ...has had two autism assessments, which were both considered at the last fair hearing. Bullshit. Um... Also... I found a copy of the email that was sent to Mr. Dishwick. <laughs>